Alrighty, welcome back to some more Dragon Age Inquisition. What time is it? 8.02. Alright, sorry about that. I Mother forced me to go watch some stuff. Oh, there she is. Oh, whoa, what? Leaving so soon, Your Grace? She's up on the wall. Oh, okay. Can't really do much with her up there. The place full of... Gotta come down for people who are, uh... And she's got, like, some kind of special attack. She go. If you didn't want another dance, Florian, you could have just said so. What kind of commentary is this? Return to the ballroom. See what kind of loot she dropped here. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, yet again, we are almost level 16 now, so we should be a bit overpowered. Um, didn't really feel overpowered. It felt like just uh, the right amount of difficulty for me, uh, as I'm not a fan of a lot of difficulty in games. <laughs> just because I suck at them. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all seeing or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough. We will not bicker while the winter plots against our nation. 
For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. The evidence gathered about Gaspard to support Briala. Reveal evidence of Gaspard's crimes to the Empress. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. Found your order. She threatened the council. I have the instructions you sent your general to sneak men into the palace in preparation for an attack. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. He also murdered a council of heralds emissary. I found the body and his knife in the servants' quarters. I have done no such thing. Really need to go on. And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No, it seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. No, spare Gaspard's life. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, your majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. Is that all? You're too kind, Selene. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orle owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Peace should be our concern. The enemy is connected. Be ready to fight. Ending the war was the first step. A final goal must be peace for all Thetas. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. There's plenty of opportunity for that later. I wanted some air. I had no wish to interrupt your breathing, only to bring news. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. 
Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. I don't get a say. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? It's time to head back to Skyhold. Of course. It will be good to go home. All righty. Wonder what the uh, the next quest is going to be. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations, makers' mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor, please. May I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely, with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. You've been told no? How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Mask of Valmont. Speak with the advisors in the war room. Alright, that sounds like a good place to start. Worship. Leveled up to 16, hell yeah!
Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, I really like these. So we got that one. What does this one do? You get your breath back faster than most. When your stamina is very low, it regenerates more quickly. Panicked. I like these statues. It's of the maker, I believe, is how I had it. Are these tables always here? Time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orle. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Sure they are. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We strike Corypheus now, while his people are reeling. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. It can't hurt. You're intruding. <laughs> you have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. If we could romance her, I'd do it. <laughs> Putting that out there. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this. There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where? Does it lead? He's like, fuck it. <laughs> That's putting a lot of trust to this woman, just following her into the abyss. But, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I guess we're moving on to the uh, next quest here. I'm curious to see the next uh, environments. I love the the different maps and uh, the architecture. Um, just looks great.
If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. A useful trick. For one who knows the way, certainly. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark. Broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh. Like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, that was a very short cutscene. <laughs> I'm assuming we're going to be revisiting that area uh, at some point later on uh, in the game. Still a little confused on what it is, but I uh, guess we'll find out sooner or later. on this side oh fantastic will it grow back I'm just gonna assume that's a yes it will grow back Not sure where I'm going here. the exclamation mark. Stefan finally died. It was a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since then. He's out of his mind at the end. What's the job? All right, we're gonna uh, buy and sell. Oh, we're just gonna sell, I think. <laughs> that loaded in quicker than I thought it would. I don't think we've picked up like any schematics, no.
Uh, okay. Could sell that. Silent Ginny. When a blow is about to drop a character's health below zero, the amulet shatters and heals the character for the specified amount. Oh, well, I like that. Great, we just got all these uh, schematics. Oh, they were schematics for um, warriors or something like that. So let's take a look here. Uh, be two-handed. So we're currently doing 195. Are we doing? Are we doing more? I don't remember. Okay, so we're doing 232. That's that's quite a bit. Uh, Heal on kill? I want a 4% heal on kill, so... Um, before I forget, let's go ahead and modify it so I can add that. Let's see, it was a pommel, wasn't it? 12% armor. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I was gonna say, I'm probably not gonna find anything better, uh... Okay, I take it back. There's a 301. <laughs> Rip splitter. It's a rogue only. Staff of the dragon. Hmm. 
we always have this? Okay, great. Uh, let's see. We did get some new staffs, so let's take a look and see currently what they've got. All right, Solus is using Tempest, 97 Snow. All right, Solus is using 97 Snow. Dorian should be using 96 Fire. Let's get these staves here. Staff Blade. Healing head. If I want anyone alive, it's gonna be Solus, definitely. Um, or Dorian. I mean, they both have um, pretty good ones there. He's got a superior one. Vark's got 229 on one. Not really sure what else he's got here. He's got daggers. I mean, I could give Vark just a bow. Although he's got skills and daggers, so whatever. <laughs> whatever. <sighs> All right. Dragon bone. Okay. Two forty-four. It looks like it's about the highest I'm going to be able to get this. 272, okay. Lustrous cotton. He seems to be good at flanking. Healing flanking dagger, all right. What is this? Where are you? Oh. Two seventy two. He's got 179 and 206. Let's do 229, 272. Are they supposed to look identical? What kind of armor is he wearing? Oh, he's wearing 158. Yeah, I was going to say, there were some other ones here, but, uh... He's wearing a 7. Is 
there anything to modify helmets? Guess not. We're at 41. Belt of healing. Cold resistance. Everything else, like, I'm pretty sure, uh, is, like, minus 50%, it said. It's, like, absolutely ridiculous. What's my inventory at? It's at 23. Gosh, damn, you guys, you guys don't spare very much here. Oh, so it's just any time you pick up something, because we've definitely harvested a lot of these in the uh, star back up, so that's kind of annoying. I get OCD about it, but I need to, like, ignore it, honestly, because I can't do this every time. Although I do like this belt of healing. What am I currently using for a belt? Yeah, I want to switch that out. There we go. Destroy that motherfucker. A lot of these were not as uh, great as I thought they'd be, though. There are different heavy schematics, it looks like. I think I will take a look at those. Uh, we're doing, we're doing 224, I believe, is the armor that I currently have equipped. No, wait, it's, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's, no, it's 170-something. Yeah, we're wearing 171. 
171, so we could definitely be increasing this a bit. Man, why does it have to be so ugly? I like that for a change. Although it doesn't really, uh, change much. So four, two I really hate that armor, like I won't lie, so What's it at? One seventy four is the base, two oh three is the top. Is this going to give us 203? <laughs> 77. Definitely do not have 177 currently. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'd be guarding Solus. Take a look at his armor here. It takes nine years to load everything. Oh, I'm like, what? Oh, that's the, that's the shit I just crafted. Yeah, he's wearing a 125. We could definitely craft him something better. Um... What's the highest? Oh, it's just 177, I think. Oh, wow. We, like, barely have enough. I like heal bonus. Electrical resistance. Spirit resistance. Magic defense. Any of this means? Yeah, we'll use, we'll use Vargas scales. Lustrous cotton. Electrical resistance, spirit resistance. Fine. Is there any, uh, helmet that we got with that? <laughs> okay, we don't have any helmet schematics. Alright then, alright. Wait. I think I have to equip it first? Alright, so we got about, we got about 30.
was about to say, we don't have a lot of dragon scales. Honestly. We'll just do Paragon's Luster, because, you know, that's easy. Ram leather. Dragon webbing. Alright, that's pretty cool looking. If I can get something that kind of matches the top. Although that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Farik. You know, he looks pretty good like that. <laughs> okay, then. That is not what I meant to do. Let's do Orlay. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I was gonna check the stables, but we'll do that later. Just see what's next in, um... The, uh, the Inquisition's efforts have weakened Corypheus's attack... Att attempts to stir unrest in Thedos. Now is the ideal time to strike. Consult the advisors to plan the next move. Alrighty, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. See you in the next video. Um, we're going to be deciding, I guess, on how to take down Corypheus. Oh, hell yeah, she's on my side. <laughs>